Okay. All right. Welcome everyone to Education Celebration. I'm Stephanie Rothstein. I'm Bonnie Shillette coming to you from my car. Um, <laughs> I have a lot to do today, so I wanted to make sure I got this done. Yay! Because uh, presenting with Stephanie is my favorite. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with Bonnie too. Um, and the last time that we were together, we were in Singapore together. So um, we met at the at SEA 19. Um, here, let me put it to the why we're here. What's your why? So or what's our why? We met there. We connected. Um, and then after we've been part of Global GEG and a lot of other projects, presented lots of places together. Like we had a a real bond, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Steph is, is my work bestie that I don't work with, for sure. I would agree with that. <laughs> yes. I find a reason to work with Bonnie all the time. All the time. Um, and we just started talking about ways that in both of our positions that we need to help ensure that we are celebrating the people mm -hmm. that we support. Like our roles often are supporting other educators. Um, and um, my current position is that I am an ed tech TOSA for um, Santa Clara Unified School District where I support 30 schools. Um, and Bonnie, what are you doing now? Your exciting new job. I am the director of educational technology for the state of Louisiana. Yeah, um, that's a really big deal. But uh, <laughs> if you don't live here, she she's like a person at the state level. It's there. Are, there are only fifty of us. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty cool. So we we just kept talking about how during this yeah the whole state. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah I know. I'm lucky to present with her. So um, I knew who I was meeting in Singapore. I was like, I gotta get onto this train. Um, so when uh, so when we started talking about all of the people that we're seeing around us, we really wanted to figure out how do we authentically celebrate people. And in our awesome global GEG group, there are amazing educators that deserve celebration. Um, and what we started to do with our group was things that I started to take back and use in my actual job that I get paid for. So um, we wanted to share those out with you and hopefully help you celebrate yourselves and the people around you. Any yeah, other wives there, Bonnie? Yeah, like, because teachers are my favorite. Um, like in, in my position, I'm, I'm kind of changing the whole thing because so many people in ed tech are, are IT people like it, you know, at the leader level. And we need to change that because ed tech now is not just, you know, wires and cables. And um, I feel like teachers just aren't, so, especially this past few years, they just, you know, like it doesn't take much. They're easy to win over. We just have to give them a bump. I agree. So let's talk through. So we started our little show um, that I would say uh, we, we modeled it after if you're not familiar uh, with uh, some good news, SGN, um, that had come out during COVID. And we we became SGGG, S triple G, E G N, some good global G E G news. Um, and we have done a bunch of episodes, uh, and these were just a few. Um, we celebrated Global G E G S birthday. We've done lots of milestones. So, um, and then this one was especially for Bonnie here. Yeah, that was my particular favorite when we did Mardi Gras. And um, what's the next slide? The greasing of the poles <laughs> in New Orleans. It's a, two reasons. Um, <laughs> but one is so people don't climb them. And the other, there's a whole competition of them. So <laughs> I agree. I agree. Oh, my gosh. It was like, this was cracking me up. Um, but really, this was about like we celebrate the things that are important to the people um, in our group. So celebrating particular festivals or Lunar New Year or celebrating Mardi Gras, um, all different celebrations. Um, and then um, celebrating some of the events that took place. So really, we get on air. We do this um, using StreamYard. And we get on air and really the show is meant to be just for our group. But we started talking about ways to take this back to the place that we work with. You certainly could do it on air or you could do these things live during a meeting or you could deliver something to people. But we're going to talk to you about ways to have fun and celebrate. So we make sure that people know that what they have done in our team is appreciated um, by personally thanking them when we get 
on our show, making sure that they see their faces there, they hear that they are being thanked, and then we talk about what was done. Um, Nikki Laverne, one of the previous VIA um, educators and awesome innovators, we celebrated her project. I was lucky enough to be her mentor. Um, and then we celebrated boot camp. You want to go over this one, Bonnie? Oh, yes. And like our hosts, you know, we had so many people who presented and took time on a Saturday, like just to help other teachers. And we really wanted to make sure that those people were seen. And um, like I said, like, and then we, you know, we make, we do this kind of show and we were joking that was fake awards. And somebody said mm -hmm. something to me that meant so much. He said, these awards are not fake. And I was like, oh. Um, because it's, it's so fun. But yeah, the boot camp was so good. And like I said, it's just, oh, it's so humbling. So many educators will take time for free on a Saturday to help people. Like that. You see this whole world. <laughs> yeah. Like, so many, you know, made slides for not like just, just to be helpful. Um, and then, you know, there were companies that helped us. Yeah. It was so cool. It was awesome. Game of Bleak uh, still one of my faves. Agreed. And then we did, we realized like um, we wanted to make sure that everybody felt seen at, uh, around birthday time. So we know it's impossible to do this um, where every person, where there's some sort of gigantic thing. So instead we decided that we would celebrate everyone for one or two months, depending on, or three, depending on how long there was in between our broadcasts. Um, celebrating big milestones when GED had their birthday. But the thing that I think really got people involved in celebrating was we started to bring in, mm. we did uh, a, an episode where we started to talk about things that people were doing outside of our group. So honoring kind of the big projects that people, I would say, were their passions and helping them know that we are behind them and excited about what's coming up. So different people publishing things or putting on a show. So um, all different ones that were oh, here yeah. and then yeah. of the group like these were all big deals for people. And so I think it really matters that um, not just what's being done. So I started thinking about, there are so many people at my school that do, or at the schools that I support that do amazing things that are outside of the school. And I think a way to connect with them is to help them know that those things matter um, and that you care that they're doing them because it enhances the person that they bring into the classroom, right? It, it shapes yeah. who they are. Um, yeah. So just and your stuff. your school, your district, your state is better for for what they do outside of the outside of the classroom. Um, and yeah, to to honor those things that they're doing in their spare time, um, it's it's just I think it's so special. And like I said, I can't. I think this is totally rec uh, like replicable on so many levels. And um, then yeah. we have Cora here. Um, Cora became our unofficial official mascot. Um, and Frederick Ballou, uh, was put Cora in a, in a race that we had to celebrate. So, you know, just like so many fun things. And then if you don't know Leslie, you have to know Leslie Altman. Um, and we did a gigantic job of celebrating her amazing job as a, an educator of over 50 years. Like I can't even fathom. I mean, she's unbelievable. So, um, so Leslie deserved celebrating and we talked a lot about it and I consider her a, a mentor and I'm lucky to know her. And right. yeah, we encourage people to send us in if they have kudos that we have missed. And then if we're live in the chat, like feel free to put in some kudos that you uh, want to shout out here in the chat. That's something that we do in the live show. Feel free to put in stuff that deserves celebrating and we'll talk about it while we're here. Um, and then, oh, this is one of my favorites, Bonnie. So many favorites. Everything is our favorite, by the way. It is. It is. But, um, yeah, so I don't know, Bonnie, you want to talk about how Uncomfortable yeah. Spotlight came about? Uncomfortable Spotlight came out because not everybody, you know, those kids in class that have all this cool stuff going on, but they're not the loud in your face kids. Like we wanted to get to know those people. Um, and there were so many cool people in our group doing all these amazing things that maybe wouldn't be the the first person to talk or, or tell about them things. So we started doing uncomfortable spotlight. Um, and it has been so fun. 
um, to learn about people and to learn like what they do, like, like you, as a, as a teacher or in their personal life, it has been the best time. Um, and I really felt like it, it brought people into our group even more. Like they, you could tell, like it, it was like something to talk about and, you know, like, are we going to talk about Judy and the chickens? Like we got to talk about it. Judy and the chickens. Let's do it. So it, so just the format of Uncomfortable Spotlight, essentially what we would do, and it's super simple, but it's gone over really well, is we would bring people in. That was Devin. We'll talk about duties. Um, so we we invite someone who we feel like maybe people don't necessarily know all the great stuff that they're doing. And there are mm-hmm. always people like that at your school, at your campus, in your district, wherever you work. Um, and whether it is that they have a job that's more behind the scenes or they just aren't as vocal about what they do. Um, We would invite them in and then we would ask them to share with us anything that they want that um, in the form of. Thank you. We can't. All right. Yeah. Oh my God. You guys. Okay. So So we have um, in the form of two truths and a lie. So that's how we would have people share what they know, what what it is that they would like to share about us. And this has really been so much fun. So people would share in all different ways, all different interesting facts about themselves. And then as we're live on air, or if you're live in a meeting, or if you're live in a group, people are guessing here. So I don't know. You want to take them through this one? Devin's was hard too. Like some of these people, they 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 make them hard for us. You're like, you can't tell which one is the lie. Like this one, clearly we did not think Judy had 102,000 chickens. But she has 102,000 chickens. I know. It was amazing. It was just like, and yeah. yeah she's, she has done all this stuff on the motorcycle. And it was just so cool um, to, to get to know. I think the motorcycle was a lie because she had been like 60,000 or something. I think it crazy. was some, yeah, I think it was like the mileage was off. But They are was, tricky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was so good. So good. So that one was super fun. Um, another piece that has what, what Bonnie brought up earlier, our, our Geggy Awards. So we also do like little silly songs in between things. Um, and when we get to this one, oh, speaking of Judy, we come up with awards that are personalized shout outs for, for people. Um, and it changes depending on the month and we'll do a few, sometimes we'll do more depending on what we've been doing, but it's to honor the people who really have been working super hard, um, and, and deserve some gratitude from us Mm -hmm. and to know that they're seen for what they're doing. Um, and so just like, we, we come up with our own silly, in our mind, silly titles, but then we're told it's not silly and it's meaningful. I know. Some, <laughs> some of these like are like at midnight. Like I'll send Steph a text and be like, oh my God, oh my God, let's do this. And, um, and I cannot reiterate enough. Like you could tell, we do try to make sure like we, you know, acknowledge everybody's work and stuff. Um, different people every time. Once again, this is something totally doable at a school level. Um, that people could have fun with, um, some, you know, like it's an, it's not forced. It was super fun. We made sure we personalized it to that person. And, oh, and I would say like things like this, these ones are some of my favorites, right? Where it's got funny, it's got some fun bit in it. It, maybe it's got a pun within the title, those pieces, um, people tend to have a lot of fun with it. And then they appreciate, like Ian wrote us the next day and was like, how did you know I love Star Wars so much? And you use that in it. Um, and then, you know, I, I couldn't help but use new kids on the block within it. So, um, okay. And then we just, oh, Frederick. So we had, um, he joined our group and he started to bring amazing students were coming to his presentations and we just thought that was the coolest thing so we wanted mm-hmm. to honor that in an award um and then uh david presented on flipgrid so we used that in a punny way right we flipped over you she's just better fun. at the puns than me i, I don't try, I try. um we play who said it often with things that have been said in our team and then people will guess and then i don't know do we want to play a little bit of back well, we're at 1215, and I know Stephanie has to be a mom. We have, we have a few minutes. So okay, we okay. Play. We can play for a couple minutes. Okay, so we, we often play um, yay or nay, or birth yay or nay, or valent. 
I oh, get yeah. very random ads on Amazon. I get the most. I'm I like the stuff I get for ads, and that's how it started. I was like, I mean, when you got this, yeah, because <laughs> I got an ad for um, it was a stuffed eagle, but it was in a can on Amazon, and I was like, what, what yes. part of this algorithm? Like, how am I getting in this group? Yeah. So. <laughs> now her daughter wants her to buy it but that's what happens is well she and i will text each other these i don't think it helps and then we get more of them that um yes. you know come up so let's play a little bit of back to school uh yay or nay and then you just type in the chat if this is something you would like as a back to school or uh midway through the year or maybe you know holiday-esque gift time okay is this something you would like yay or nay Yay or nay? This is like, would you like this pouch? You can just type yay or nay. Oh, we've got a yay. Lisa. Yeah. This one was awfully popular, I feel okay. like. We All got right. a lot of popularity out of this one in the past. How about <laughs> how about this? This is our friend. Um <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. We've got, we've got some names. I don't know. I guess maybe it depends if you if you drink co coffee, if you like baseball. I don't know. Right? Okay. Baseball. I like it. I like what? it. Where's your baseball? I don't... It, what What do we think this thing is underneath the teacher? I think it's no? just like an award thing. It's like filigree-esque? I don't yeah. know what that is. Okay, then I'm going to say nay. I don't know what that is. Okay, how about this one? I like them, but I don't think I would buy them. So that's like, I think they're... I feel funny. like somebody has to buy it for you. You're saying you would yeah, buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can't read what's on the bottom of your own sock. So clearly it's for somebody else looking at you, right? Like, I don't understand. I, don't I mean, understand. the people in my house know to bring me coffee. I don't have to tell them. <laughs> like, I make you coffee. That's right, Sadie. That's right. Yeah. Um, Hogwarts wasn't hiring, so I teach muggles instead. I feel like that one has to be. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen this has caught on. Hilarious. This has been a trend. I think Sadie's teacher has it. Yeah, um, I agree, Philomena. I'm never in the position where people see the bottom of my feet. I agree with you on that. Like, who who sits like that? Who sits so like we that? These, like, you know, you could you could get teachers to submit, you know, their crazy ads. I and, like it. You know, there are just so many ways this is replicable. In there are so space. many of these. Like, I just, I honestly, like, they just come up and I take screenshots of them. There are so many random things that we get. Um, yeah. Okay. We did these ones were these ones were when we had Global GEG's birthday. Oh my God, Sadie so got those socks, the fox <laughs> socks. Those are yay in my family. She I did. Know. She has the fox socks. Okay. Wait. Where was the one? Oh, this was the one that I thought of Sadie for. <gasps> Thanks, Stephanie. Oh my God. Thanks, Stephanie. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Wait. Here. Let's do. Oh, this was the one I was like. Oh, I'm tempted by this one. I don't know. What do people think? I don't you, think it's sound. Really there's it? no way it's soundproof enough. That's my. You don't think so? I don't. There's no way. Has anybody done this? I know people do this. <laughs> Nobody else. Nobody else wants to sing karaoke to themselves. I feel like this would be necessary at a school. Ah, uh, okay, maybe that's just me. All right, we only have one minute left, but um, but there. Okay, like we did them for every holiday. There are tons of these in there. This was Bonnie's favorite. Um, like and then, um, oh, and these, I did. Um, but we also played like where in the world I could see doing that. We talked about doing that. Like when teachers go on a trip, it would be super cool to get little clues about that. You could totally have students do this. I, um, it, it was so much fun to like guess where in the world we did it or where in the world is this GEG and people had to guess what it was based mm -hmm. on what they were saying. Um, and then we have these fun videos that Rick makes with his dog, Cora, that, uh, yeah, we won't be able to include today because of time, but they're super fun and hilarious. And then we ask people to stay in contact with us and keep checking us out and they fill out a form if they want to be participate or do stuff. But it's all about just honoring the people that are in your team for all the great stuff that they are doing. I'm just going to be crazy and go back. We to can post time. it on Twitter. We should probably post it. We should yeah. read Look at, oh, look at look at all this crazy that we've done yeah oh so, yeah i just wanted to say thank you for joining us yes. celebrate the people around you because they deserve it and connect with people in 
uh, in your group or outside within the innovator circle because they're awesome and uh, we keep lifting everybody up. So it's great. Oh, so many people I love in this chat, but thank you. Now you're going to go Bobby that.